Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to do your crypto taxes using crypto.com. So let's get started. Okay, so crypto.com has announced a partnership with several crypto tax providers. These are online services that will allow you to easily import all of your crypto transactions into their platform and help you figure your tax forms, specifically your capital gains tax form, uh, which allows you to declare your gains or losses during the tax year. So let me show you how this stuff works. I'll leave a link to this blog uh, article in the description below so you can check it out. All right, so I use uh, Cointracker.com to help me prepare my taxes. Um, as you can see, they've helped me prepare uh, previous taxes. Now, uh, Coin Tracker does not actually do your entire uh, tax return. They basically will uh, help you generate a specific form for declaring your capital gains, uh, losses, or uh, profits. Once that form is generated, you can take it to your tax preparer or uh, bring it into your tax software, however you want to do that. But this is the important part. This is the hard part, right? Because you may have uh, hundreds, maybe thousands of crypto trades, transactions that you uh, need to document. All right. So uh, I've already added several of my exchanges and my wallets. So I want to show you how to add your crypto.com wallet. All right. So uh, we'll hit wallets here add wallet. Now it treats a, uh, a separate external wallet as a wallet, right? And then it also uh, can uh, treats an exchange sort of like a wallet, right? It, call, it says new wallet, but it's an exchange. So let's type in crypto.com. All right, and there it is. We'll hit that. All right, and so to import our crypto.com transactions, we just need to drop that CSV file in here. So how are we going to do that? So let me show you. I'm going to run over to my crypto.com app and I'm here at the home screen of crypto.com. So I'm just going to go down to the bottom there and tap accounts over on the left side. And then up at the top of accounts, you'll see there's a little clock with a dollar sign in the very top right corner. We're going to tap that. All right. And it shows us our transaction history. Now, what we want to do is export this. So there's another little icon there at the top right. That square with the outgoing arrow, we'll tap that. Now we want to export our transaction history. So I would like to transport my entire 2019 history. So I'm going to tap Start Date here. And we'll go down to January of 2019. All right, I'll hit Done. And then my end date will be uh, December, uh, let's get December 31st of 2019. All right, so there's my date range. You can do whatever range you want, but of course, for taxes, you want a tax year, right? So let's hit export to CSV. All right, and there's my export, and it's ready there. It's got download, so I'm going to tap download. And so it's going to export that CSV. I'll mail it to myself so that I can uh, get that on my computer. So I'll hit the mail icon. I'll uh, put in my own email address there. And I'll hit uh, send. And out it goes to uh, my computer, right? So I need to get this from my phone to my computer because I can't do my taxes on my phone. All right. So now we're done with crypto.com. We've got that thing exported. So let's go over and check our email. There's that form. I'm just going to download that guy. All right, I'll put tax info there. All right, and then we'll click Save. All right, and let's just go ahead and open up that folder there, and there it is. All right, let's go back over to Coin Tracker. Get that folder there for us. Now we're just going to drag that uh, fo that uh, file over into the coin tracker. We'll just drag that over. 
Okay, so I had a little technical difficulties and uh, I contacted CoinTracker and uh, they said they uh, did some work on their end. Uh, so kudos to them. Uh, I'm going to give this import another try. So uh, we go to Add Wallets. All right, we'll just drag that guy on here. And we'll see how things go. And there we go. Boom. Uh, successfully imported 424 transactions so um, my file is pretty big yours may not be as big as mine um, I do a lot of work in crypto.com I get a lot of bonuses uh, from all the people that I've referred so there's a lot to process there's a, there's a lot to process uh, but it did import uh, successfully into my wallet so we can go down here and take a look at some of my transactions. Okay, and so you can now see that it has imported all the transactions from my crypto.com account into uh, cointracker.com so they can uh, calculate the gains and losses on all of my transactions. As you can see here, they've, uh, you know, they've got trades and then uh, the date, of course, the time and the uh, the value of each cryptocurrency at the time of the trade and the reported loss or gain. So all of that can be uh, amalgamated and uh, put into your portfolio. So when we go over to our dashboard, we can go to the tax year that we're interested in and hit get started. All right, and uh, so we can start in the tax year and then you can see there that I've got some uh, transactions that need to be reviewed. Uh, cleaned up a little bit, but uh, 15 out of uh, hundreds is not bad, right? And then uh, you go down here to choose your plan, and uh, they give you a recommended. Now, I am a little out of the ordinary because I do a lot of crypto transactions uh, in my videos and in my regular life, so I've probably passed this uh, 100 transaction threshold, right? So uh, they're recommending the premium for me. Now, uh, you can get a discount on these. I'm going to put a link down in the description that's going to give you uh, a discount when you uh, follow that link. Yeah, so if you use my link below, you'll get a 10% discount on your tax plans. Uh, pretty cool. So check that out if you're interested in doing any of these. Now, of course, I'm not ready to uh, finish up now because I've got some transactions to review. But basically what happens when you, uh, after you're finished and you've got everything in there and everything synced up, then you can see here, like in my 2018 tax return, that uh, they've got the capital gains and losses for that year. And then you can uh, just download these tax forms right here and uh, print them out or save them as PDFs and import them into your personal tax software or uh, take the form to your tax accountant on a flash drive or on paper, however you want to do it. So it really makes it easy to calculate your crypto taxes, all of the transactions, the buys and sells, the gains and losses, and puts them all onto one form for you, right? And handles all of the nitty gritty details that would take me uh, probably weeks, maybe months to uh, do by hand. So it's a great way to calculate your tax forms uh, if you're into crypto like me. Now, if you have any questions on anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget, I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm also been known to do uh, Tuesday mornings at 9 or 9.30 a.m. Uh, for the Bitcoin basics. So please join me for those where you can throw out questions and I'll do my best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.